Good morning and welcome to Daily Guidance with me, Wingish Nibe Mjekikwe, or maybe that's Wingish Nibish Mjekikwe, sweet grass water medicine woman. That's right, that's me, your freaky ass friendly medicine woman. And also, Christiana Carr and Chris Carr, superstar. Yep, all this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome to you beautiful divine beings right here too. How has your weekend been going? How has the last few days been going? This is our Try It Tuesdays. Um, the Try It Tuesday video is uploading. So I said maybe try sharing a video if you haven't. One of these videos. Try putting in a comment about maybe what you tried last week or what you have tried before. Things that work for you. Things that don't work so much. Whatever that be for you. Try some interaction. Interaction interacting with me I'm, a, I'm tired yeah I mean my energy feels like it's picking up a little bit I don't feel as as exhausted as I have been the last few days but but yeah extra sore and tightness on the muscles I love swimming, so I went swimming, and of course I couldn't just go swimming without trying to do my flips. Like when I was a girl, I pretended like I was a mermaid in the water, so I would, you know, swim like a mermaid, dive into the waves, keep my feet together, and you know, you know, anybody else like to swim like a mermaid? Try some synchronized swimming, get my legs up there, but then of course, what's that do, right? I've got to use all this. But it felt good to move, to move, you know, you can move a little more freer in the water, it helps. So that helped, it felt good that way. It don't feel good today though. But you know, it doesn't stop me, still got to do those things, it's good for my body. Things that I love, connects me, right? Connects me to my little being inside, right? Okay, we're going to get the sage going. I'll pop on the SOS tech. I mean, the begin with it, that's where we're going to do the lives, right? Might move it to like noon. Okay, I put this on. So I went to wear my dress because it was a little cooler and then I got really hot. So, all right, they put the fan on. See my hair moving? <laughs> Weirdo. That's okay. That's okay. I like it that way. There we go. Super smudge. There you go. Ooh, ow. Oh, I want to do a birthday shout out. Yesterday was Care Bear's birthday. I'm sorry I didn't get to you there yesterday, but happy birthday, Carrie. At least I like how she says boniversary. Boniversary. And today, the 23rd, is my big sister Barb's birthday. I haven't seen Barb in a long time, so I wanted to say happy birthday to Barb. Send her a message later. Bitch. Super smudge. I got to see. <sighs> wow, that is a super one going there, eh? Wind going. There's all the cards here then. That's good. Alrighty. So that. Have a look at that. Seven of Pentacles. It's the Ten of Pentacles that came out on the other one. Beautiful. E e e beautiful. There. Oh, whoa. Okay. Poor ugly. We're already halfway there. Let's just hop right into our dailies. All right. Alrighty, 
halfway there, and then I'll pop on and do the live thing. Maybe I'll take it outside, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, coming all together. Bring our energies all back here into the present moment. Well, see, they've come in a little bit because, <laughs> yeah. You do the cards as spiders. What we weaving? What we weaving? All right. Okay, pull back in all of our directions from the east. That's the path of illumination, clarity, the place of man. Calling back all of our energies to us from the south. That's the place of the child, the place of the innocence, the waters, the emotions. And calling back all of our energies back to us from the west. That's the place of the earth, the physical, the woman. Place of introspection. I see that already. And then all the energies from the north, we call those back into us as well. That's our wisdom years. Um elder years that's the air the mental we walk the red road our earth walk goes from childhood in the south right and if we have children and we keep praying for that inner peace help me keep my inner peace while dealing with my children <laughs> to the north to the wisdom years that's our earth walk south to north where hopefully we can learn to laugh at ourselves and see how those things we thought what we wanted and got the opposite that that's actually what we needed okay so calling in the extra support to help you with that understanding too if it's all because jumbled in my mouth coming out okay so and then we call back all of our energies from the east and this is where the blue road of spirit travels with us as the sun east to west we return we learn impeccable integrity right as we come down we might lose that as we get down to these human being bodies and anyway, we so east to west blue road of spirit that's the sacred space where we learn to respect all. Because all, we'll know for sure when we get to that blue road of spirit that we are all connected. We know beyond any shadow of a doubt. Then, right? Uh -huh. Hopefully. All right. Oh, we forgot. That's why I wanted to do this. Above. Yes, I, I included you and we forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Above. Below. And within. Okay, and then we'll spread them out. The main energies uh, for today the whiny dog. Oh, I got a couple spiders right there. Excuse <laughs> the jumping spiders. There's one over there, they can jump very far. On oh, spider hopped up. I just thought of that now, right? So the overall for today is the medicine bundle, the allies and support. We need to be our own because we say that we're our own worst critics. Well, we can also be our own best allies. Are you going in? Then go in and don't whine. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm over here. Yeah, you see. I had to let the doggy in. I've got the big door closed because the kids are home and then next the kitchen. You hear the clanging around. We don't need any more distraction now, do we? No. Okay. So... Be your own best ally and support and look at sometimes sometimes the support is not the ones we think that are there or not the ones that we wanted to be supported from but that doesn't mean we don't have any because we can get caught up how there's nobody here for me we talked about that in videos before of course i'm not the first one to bring it up right you could be looking over here at <coughs> all the people that you want that support from but you're not seeing all the people over here that are giving you the support right and they could hurt these people's feelings. They're like, I'm not getting, there's nobody here to support me because all you're looking, doing is looking at here. And that's why I clarify too when I say like my family's turned their back on me, but it's just a few. That's not all, right? I'm not talking about my whole family. Like I don't like to blanket anything. We're all unique individuals. Even if we have similarities, we're still unique individuals. Even if you're an identical twin, you're still a unique individual. So, right, that medicine wisdom. So that tap into that inner knowing that we all are. And that our best ally and support is Source, right? Tap into that first. Let me tell you, it's gotten me through everything, okay? Everything in my life. And when I see people, and some people get offended through that, I see that as Source working through those people, right? And lots of people, you know, 
Our egos want that credit, right? That I did that for you, right? You wouldn't have been able to do that without me, right? Well, hey, for me, it's like, well, that's source working through you. You wouldn't be able to do that for me if you weren't here, if, you know, whatever. But, but we can get too complicated into things like, you know what? But just tap into that knowing, right? That inner knowing. There's your best ally and support is to develop that intuition. Oh, that was something that popped into my head too. I'll share that later. Intuition versus instincts. Like intuition we've all got and is to be developed. You learn how to use. We got instincts. I think we come more from your environment, right? Like the inner wisdom, that inner knowing, the salmon instinct, like instinct to get yourself to safety, but is that intuition that helps them find the way back up those streams where they spawn? Hmm? Hmm, I don't know. What do you think? Try it Tuesday. Share. Hey? Try typing something to me. Uh-huh. Keep it decent, though, please. Um, ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Yes. You know. So, then we go creative energies. Okay, so the woman. Creative energies. Woman one to be first over here. Okay. And then the male side, the action that you could take today, that's there. Maybe it's this one. Okay. So the reflections that we're reflecting on today, this creative energy. So you know what? I have a path and totem on the top. So I'm going to fold up these and we're going to show you what's on the bottom here. I told him the alligator, integrate, integrate all of that inner knowing what we've learned along the way and the allies and support, right? And then that rebirth that helps us. We're letting go and releasing what we thought we were. And integrating all that we've already known who we are, right? How is that integrating? Making that a part of who we are. You can't really see those down there. Excuse me. Oh, I guess they already got it in there. So the female creative side is that pipe. Is that prayer for inner peace. And that came up from the south, right? Because we are all responsible for our own inner peace. That's an inside job. So who can work on the inside of these bodies but us, right? It's not like a medical doctor or surgeon, you know, we can go, they can cut us open and, you know, here we go. Here's the inner peace wire. Oh, I see where it was frayed there. We can just connect it over here to the unconditional love wire and then we'll have inner peace and unconditional love. And <laughs> So it don't work that way. So inside job, the weirder ones inside this body 24-7, we're the ones that need to bring that peace. Inner peace, right? Bring it in and then share it out. You pray, you bring it in, then share it out. Right? That's cleansing. It's cleansing out. We can pray for that help to cleanse those out. Right? Those tears might come in because it's just too frustrating. It's too hard. But as we release those tears, right? That weight is lifted. We feel lighter. We come closer to inner peace. So don't be afraid to cry. Let the tears... Let the tears flow, right? That's what Frog says. Frog brings the rains. Frog cleanses the earth. Frog replenishes, right? We need that water for that growth too, right? So there's tears. Allow them to flow and then feel lighter. Feel closer to your peace after. How do you feel after a good cry? Hey, okay. You ever get that? I get that. Oh, you feel lighter. There's a release, right? And it's easier to transform that. You ever been like crying, tears of grief, and then a memory will come up, say it's somebody you've lost, lost, right? Somebody that's made the transition to the blue road. And then, you know, you're grieving, feeling like you've lost them, and a memory comes up, and those tears turn into like joy, those laughter tears, because you think of something that was so funny, right? That's cleansing. That's how we find that peace too. Going through all of those emotions, right? Not blocking anything. It's that inner wisdom and following that flow. Tap into that inner wisdom and follow your flow. That will get you back to where you could lay your eggs, right? Plant your seeds. Be ready for that new growth and new life. As you choose it for yourself, right? The highest and best interest of all, right? 
in those actions, right? Then that, that ability to respond because then we're letting out all those emotions. We're just not responding emotionally. We respond more rationally, maybe. No, but if we keep holding those emotions in, we're not going to find those peace because they'll keep swirling around inside of us, right? And they'll keep finding ways to come out. So we need to release those. So that we can respond and not just react, right? That's the inner wisdom that if we just hold things in, we're going to react, react, react. Then we look at it and we take that time to respond. We're not babies. And it's just slow and steady. You find your own pace and you keep with your own pace. That's the stamina. I, I like slow and steady. Some might like it a little quicker. But, you know, you find a pace that you can maintain yourself. We don't have to go at anybody else's speed, right? Human race, but there is no race. What are we racing for? Isn't the finish line death? Right? Death and renewal and rebirth, whatever that is, right? Why do you want to race through life? Take your time. Be able to respond. Because we can get more out, too. And what kind of decisions do you make when you're tired? Do you make good sound decisions when you're tired and you haven't had a good sound sleep? I keep looking over here. I see another little spider. Spiders are around to help us. We even, so I wanted to leave that message in there. Spider was the one that brought first language, they say, some of the stories. My favorite spider is Charlotte, Charlotte's Web. Mm -hmm. So those are our cards for today. You see all those? And then this, we're all, see? Death and rebirth. We're getting ready for that death and rebirth. And we're integrating all, right? Keeping. Keeping, because not everything needs to go. Some things need to be transmuted into something that's more beneficial for us all. Right? There you go. That's our reading for today. There's our guidance. Let me know what it says to you. What kind of messages do you get out of it, too? You know, if you share um, what something might says, say to you, it might be something different than I said. Maybe that'll help somebody else, too. So, try it. Try sharing the messages you got. What what did this say to you specifically? If you would like to share, I mean, it is privacy, so keep your private information there. But if you could share generally what you got from that, that might help somebody else. What you've seen in there that I might not have pointed out, that maybe Spirit said to you, ah, this card can also mean that for you. Okay? I think so. I'm trying to talk today, so this is my try it Tuesdays. Just keep trying it even though I don't feel like it. I just want to go to bed for a week. <laughs> it's okay. Love you all. No, big. I need massages, okay? That's uh, I send some donations. I can go get myself a massage. <laughs> Love you. Or <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles came up with the other one. I said, ah, oh, this means everybody got to give me money. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Yeah, overtired. Love you all. Biggest heart hugs ever. Thank you for being you and shining your light through in everything you do because you know this world needs you. And I'm so glad you're here. This world is so much brighter with you here. Thanks for being here. I love you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week.